Hello, I'm Shelly Freak, and today I want to show you this nice little redstone contraption, the one block size infinite water source. Well, this is my first video of sound recording, so if I uh, if I seem to be a bit puzzled, that's right. Please excuse excuse this. Um, first, I want to show you that this thing works, because if it doesn't work, I should do a video about it. So let's go into ego mode and get rid of this annoying glass block in front of my eyes and then I'll show you how this works. Click on this lever to activate the main clock and then you can use your bucket to take water out of this water source and as you might notice it is instantly refilled. That's great! Yeah, woohoo! Uh, so, in the next part of the video, I will explain you how all this works. But before, I will show you, well, an alternative using command blocks. Well, flying doesn't work actually. <laughs> so I will, I will have to jump around. No, okay, it works. So. Uh, this one's a command block and it replaces this cauldron if it is empty to a new cauldron. You could also use a water source and a butt switch to activate the switch and place some water block over here. That's a silly little command block version. But we are not here to use command blocks, we're here to do it in a survival friendly way. So here's my Redstone contraption. It is uh, divided into two parts. The left area is the one for refilling the buckets with water and the right one is for transporting them up to the dispenser and using them so they refill this place up there. So, well, I will have to make clear weather because the rain is annoying, however. So, the yellow part is a clock. This clock activates every five redstone ticks and it pushes the buckets, the filled buckets, which you can see traveling through this pipe, by this hoppers, no droppers, top to up to the top where they are used. To make the correct timing, I have this orange part. The orange part makes sure that the buckets first get into the dispenser, then are used onto the top block and then are dropped out into the hopper below. So they aren't used again because if an empty, uh, uh, empty bucket is used onto water it will disappear and if enough uh, empty bucket is used on the empty space above uh, this block it will fire out. And no one wants to be with buckets all around. So they travel through this pipe back to this blue area where they are refilled. They go into this hopper on the left. It's still a dropper. I'm sorry. So into this dropper where they are stored. So you can put as many buckets in here as you want, but only a few of them will be used. So just just put in as much that there are at least one or two buckets in there all the time. Then uh, they are dropped into this dispenser used on the infinite water source which I created down here. So the buckets will fill up and then are transported up down. So that's the whole circuit. It's completely, f bl completely flat with the ground and I guess that's all. If you like that video, you can like it or subscribe or whatever you do with videos you like. And uh, over here you can see my next big project. Well, maybe there already is a video, then there will be 
a link you can click at. Or it isn't there, so, well, you have to wait. However, this is all I've got uh, today, so see you next time.